What was the day of the week on 26 Jan, 1950? 26th of January 1950 is equal to 1,600 years plus 300 years plus 49 years plus period from 1st January 1950 to 26 January 1950. 1,600 years have zero odd day, every 400 years have zero odd days. 300 years is equal to, 3 into 5 is equal to, 15 odd days, as 100 years have 5 odd days. Is equal to, 14 plus 1 odd days is equal to, 1 odd day, as 7 odd days is equal to, 1 week is equal to, 0 odd days. 49 years is equal to, 12 leap years plus 37 ordinary years. The number of years is divided by 4, the whole number in the quotient is the number of leap years, the whole number of the quotient subtracted from the number of years is the number of ordinary years. Is equal to, 12 into 2 plus 37 into 1 odd days as leap year has two odd days and ordinary year has one odd day, is equal to, 24 plus 37 odd days, is equal to, 61 odd days, is equal to, 56 odd days plus 5 odd days, when 61 is divided by 7, quotient is 8 and reminder is 5, is equal to, 8 weeks plus 5 odd days, is equal to, 5 odd days, as, 1 week is equal to, 0 odd days. Breaking down the number of days from 1st January 1950 to, 26 January 1950. 26 days in January is equal to, 26 days. Is equal to, 3 weeks plus 5 days. Is equal to, 5 odd days, as 1 week is equal to, zero odd days. 26 January 1950 is equal to, 1600 years plus 300 years plus 49 years plus period from 1st January 1950, to 26 January 1950. Substituting the number of odd days which have been determined above, is equal to, zero plus one plus five plus five is equal to, 1 week plus 4 odd days, is equal to, 4 odd days, as 1 week is equal to, 0 odd days. When there are 0 odd days the day will be Sunday. As there are 4 odd days the 26th of January, 1950 is a Thursday. What was the day of the week on 27th May, 1919? 27th May 19th 19 is equal to, 1600 years plus 300 years plus 18 years plus period from 1st January 1919 to, 27th May 19th 19. 1600 years have zero odd day, every 400 years have zero odd days. 300 years is equal to, 3 into 5 is equal to, 15 odd days, as 100 years have 5 odd days, is equal to, 14 plus 1 odd days is equal to, 1 odd day, as 7 odd days is equal to, 1 week is equal to, 0 odd days, 18 years is equal to, 4 leap years plus 14 ordinary years, the number of years is divided by 4, the whole number in the quotient is the number of leap years, the whole number of the quotient subtracted from the number of years is the number of ordinary years. Is equal to, 4 into 2 plus 14 into 1 odd days, as leap year has 2 odd days and ordinary year has 1 odd day. Is equal to, 8 plus 14 odd days is equal to, 20 to odd days is equal to, 3 weeks plus 1 odd day. Is equal to, 1 odd day as, 1 week is equal to, 0 odd days. Breaking down the number of days in the period between 1st January to, 27th of May 1919.
January has 31 days plus February has 28 days plus March has 31 days plus April has 30 days plus 27 days in May is equal to 147 days is equal to 21 weeks plus 0 days is equal to 0 odd days as 1 week is equal to 7 odd days. 27th May 1919 is equal to 1600 years plus 300 years plus 18 years plus period from 1st January 1919 to 27th May 1919. Substituting the number of odd days which have been determined above is equal to 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 is equal to 2 odd days. When there are zero odd days the day will be Sunday. As there are two odd days the 27th May 1919 is a Tuesday. What was the day of the week on 2nd October 1863? 2nd October 1863 is equal to 1600 years plus 200 years plus 62 years plus period from 1st January 1863 to 2nd October 1863. 1600 years have zero odd day, every 400 years have zero odd days. 200 years is equal to, 2 into 5 is equal to, 10 odd days as 100 years have 5 odd days, is equal to, 7 plus 3 odd days is equal to, 3 odd days, as 7 odd days is equal to, 1 week is equal to, 0 odd days, 62 years is equal to, 15 leap years plus 47 ordinary years, the number of years is divided by 4, the whole number in the quotient is the number of leap years, the whole number of the quotient subtracted from the number of years is the number of ordinary years. Is equal to, 15 into 2 plus 47 into 1 odd days, as leap year has 2 odd days and ordinary year has 1 odd day. Is equal to, 30 plus 47 odd days. Is equal to, 77 odd days. Is equal to, 77 odd days plus 0 odd days, when 77 is divided by 7 quotient is 11 and reminder is 0, is equal to, 11 weeks plus 0 odd days, is equal to, 0 odd day, as, 1 week is equal to, 0 odd days. Breaking down the number of days in the period between 1st January to 2nd October 1863. January has 31 days plus February has 28 days plus March has 31 days plus April has 30 days plus May has 31 days plus June has 30 days plus July has 31 days plus August has 31 days plus September has 30 days plus two days in October is equal to 275 days is equal to, 39 weeks plus 2 days is equal to, 2 odd days. 2nd October 1863 is equal to, 1600 years plus 200 years plus 62 years plus period from 1st January 1863 to, to end October 1863. Substituting the number of odd days which have been determined above is equal to, 0 plus 3 plus 0 plus 2 is equal to, 5 odd days. When there are 0 odd days the day will be Sunday. As there are 5 odd days the 2nd August 18th 63 is a Friday.